looks a whole that lot looks brighter. That looks a whole lot brighter. And I'm thinking that's probably Rudy. Yeah, you can definitely get those peachy tones on this bottom one. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jace from Gen Z Reptiles, and today we're going to be seeing if we're fools or if our Dinka project actually proves out. If you don't know who we are, I'm Jace, and my brother Josh is behind the camera. We run Gen Z Reptiles out of Eastern Iowa, and today we're going to be cutting 11 eggs to see, like I said, if that Dinka project proves out. So stay tuned. As always, we like to show the parents of our offspring. So this dude right here is Rudy. And if you saw our other Dinker egg cutting video, he was the sire of that clutch as well. We saw some signs in there that indicated that this gene does pass on, but this clutch will be a confirmation. We're hoping to see more Rudy's, as we call it, in this clutch. But basically the Rudy gene has these nice bronze undertones, reduced patterning on the sides, and the back is just jet black where the, where the dark pattern is. So I'm gonna put him away and I'll show you guys the mom of this clutch. And we named her Fuega. And for her, she has some maroon undertones instead, and uh, instead of the jet black on the dark pattern on the back. So that's one thing that's big with this. And also some of her offspring from last year came out a little bit cleaner than, uh, about half the clutch came out with like cleaner patterns. So that's something we are like, huh, maybe there is something in there. Um, so this is a tester clutch. Worst comes to worst, it'll be a normal to normal, so we'll have an entire clutch of normal ball pythons. Best case scenario, we'll prove out one or two dinker projects. So let's cut these eggs. So this girl laid a big clutch for us. There was 12 eggs originally, but one of them was just infertile. So we have 11 good eggs here, and we are going to have a lot of shots at seeing whether or not we have some dinkers in here. I'm pretty hopeful. Um, I think we'll just get right into it. So what do you think, Josh? Honestly, I have no idea. I think it's gonna be a lot easier to compare the when different we have babies. A couple. Yeah, but. to me, that's just giving me wild type vibes, nothing else. Yep. All right, next up. Okay, so let's see if there's any difference between those two. And what's your opinion, Josh? Um, they look a bit different, don't they? They do. So this one actually is a little bit more orange, and that one is almost more gray. That's more eggs. And. I have no idea. What are you thinking? This one is actually looking pretty normal to me as well. Yeah. Alright. The thing that is tough with ball python egg cuttings is that sometimes the colors are just slightly off of what they are after they shed. Um, so with subtle dinker projects like this one is, it's kind of tough to tell. This one is looking a little bit lighter than what we've seen so far. 
and I would say that looks kind of reduced as well. Um, so if there were to be a dinker proving out, I would almost guess it'd be the clean jean. What would you say, Josh? Um, I think I need to keep seeing more. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, so far, no, I don't think any of them have looked like remotely similar, which is what happens when you cut normal eggs, but. Yeah, you get that polymorphism even in the wild types. So that could be what we're seeing in as well, just the polymorphism. Okay, so this one looks quite reduced and we're seeing those orange sides. So to me, that looks rooty. Yeah, I can definitely see that. There's like some real peachy tones over here and that's like what we saw in the other dinker egg cutting. Yeah, so when they're younger, they don't look as bronze as they age, they bronze out, but it's more of this peach tone. So that is potentially some very good news for us. At least something is proven out. We did get a comment on one of our other videos that they, the Rudy Jean was giving people Enchi vibes, but um, we, we can see how you can uh, get that from the reduced pattern, but it's just like quite different than Enchi because sometimes the Enchi pattern fades out a little bit and um, the, his colors have remained like pretty solid. Okay. The eye stripes are super yellow on this one. Yeah, so we're getting really yellow coloration, um, even on the back there. So that's interesting, to say the least. Uh, it's not giving me any real clear Rudy vibes though. So it could be that clean jean showing through. Okay. You guys will have to let us know what you think. It's gonna be very hard to tell until they uh, shed out. Yep. So. A lot of people who deal with dinkers get a lot of flack as well, just because there are Basically, it's easy to get excited about possibly having the next new gene. And so a lot of people will be like, oh no, you're just seeing things. And that does happen. <laughs> and it does happen, yeah, that's for sure. But what do you think with this one? I, I just have no idea. Wild type? Maybe. What do you think? That's what I was thinking, wild type. Yeah. So there's nothing in here that has indicated that any of these animals carry both of those dinker genes, which we still have four eggs to go, but you would have thought that we'd probably have seen it by now. Unless, of course, this is it. So this is giving me some in-between vibes. We have the reduced patterning of the Rudy, the peachy color of the Rudy, and then it almost looks like those Darks aren't quite as pitch black as the Rudy. It has like the grainy tones that the mom kind of had. Yeah, that's true. So there's like some of that speckling um, inside of the alien heads that the mom had. So that's, that's got some potential to it.
All right. What do you think about that? It looks a little bit brighter than some of the ones we cut earlier. That's true. I'll grab one out for comparison's sake. So, yeah, that looks a whole lot. That looks brighter. a whole lot brighter. And I'm thinking that's probably Rudy. Yeah, you can definitely get those peachy tones on this bottom one. Whereas this this one up top is darker. So that's some confirmation for Rudy. So that's a very good sign for us. Yeah, we're trying to be as non-optimistic as we can. That's because we don't want to... Yeah, it's, it's easy to see things. So for us, we're trying to be like playing the devil's advocate, if you will. And for us, we don't want to be calling something that isn't actually there. So for us, we're like trying to be on the pessimistic side until we have some evidence that it's like super clear. And for us, we're going to keep trying to work both of these projects a couple more times and get some definitive answers. Obviously, if we see a super from either or one of these, then we'll be able to be like, oh, we actually 100% have confirmed that this is a new gene. And in fact, it is an incomplete dominant or co-dominant gene. So that's when we'll know for sure. But these are like the very beginnings of us working with these two projects. So we'll see. Uh, we do love our dinker projects though, so we always, when we're on the lookout for new snakes, we'll always um, keep an eye out for ones that look a little bit off normal, and sometimes on their own they don't look like anything super crazy, but then you start getting them into combinations, and you see that it just looks absolutely insane. Yeah, and like when other people are trying to prove out their own dinkers, we're always rooting for them. Yeah, absolutely. So here's another somewhat darker one. Yeah, it's really grainy. But it's really grainy like the mom. So I'm almost thinking that that's the clean gene, which I don't know why we call it the clean gene. But <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, it has that almost granite look like the mom. And I know there's some granite type genes that are out there and we could have a variant of that. That very well could be what's going on. And we're down to our last egg. So we'll see if anything crazy comes out of this. And then we'll review what we saw and do a little bit of comparison between maybe some different variants within the clutch. Another thing that can be happening too is some of these babies might not be as obvious when they're young, but as they age, some of those colors will develop. So we'll just be keeping a close eye on these and see how they're looking after some meals but um, like hypo for example that's more of an extreme extreme uh, example but I think that's a good illustration of how different the babies can look from adults so it happens more subtly in different morphs but um, every single snake changes from baby to adult so this one right here um, we'll pop that bubble nope all right so that one is looking pretty grainy to me as well. Um, could be seeing that clean gene again. So yeah, let's get these. Yeah, get a nice comparison of everything. And you guys will have to let us know what you think. Um, are we just seeing stuff? Is this an entirely normal clutch? Which, like we said, it's always a possibility. Um, or are you guys seeing something too? Obviously, there's some variation in there. I think we can pretty confidently say that we're seeing Rudy um, in that one. And then, let's see, there's another Rudy in here. I think maybe two more Rudys. So this one's definitely Rudy. And then we might be looking at, let's see, maybe some with these like brighter yellows up top are there the other gene that's coming through. Hmm. It's hard to say, but yeah, we are seeing definitely that's Rudy right there. We have another Rudy in here. So I can, I think we can say uh, that that definitely passes down to the offspring. So we've confirmed our Rudy project for sure. And then we'll have to compare these to some of the other normals that we've hatched out as well. But I'm definitely see, seeing variation between like these three even. So we could be seeing some Rudy clean gene combination. 
we could be seeing some just regular uh, clean jean or normals. Um, that one is darker than a lot of the rest of these, so I think that one's just wild type right there. And then It's so hard to say. But yeah, you guys are gonna have to let us know what you think. Are we looking at an entire clutch of normals? Do we just do a normal to normal pairing? Or are we seeing other stuff? Um, you guys are definitely more than welcome to push back against seeing anything with the Rudy gene. For us, we're pretty certain it's a subtle gene, but we're pretty certain that we're seeing this um, both in our last thinker cutting project and this one as well. And possibly another gene at play but we'll definitely be doing updates on this uh, clutch. So I said it already, but let us know down in the comments what you guys think. Um, did we hit some stuff here? Are we just seeing things? We'll do updates and then um, we'll also be doing updates soon on the other Dinker clutch. So we, sh we can show you all four of those um, and what we got. Uh, Josh, is there anything else you would like to add? Yep, stay tuned for some more egg cuttings this season. We'll have a, a ton more videos coming out, so. Yep, I hope everybody's having a great season and we'll see you guys next time. All right, so we were struggling a little bit in the moment to try to identify the differences, but uh, we wanted to come back after looking at them a little bit closer and give you guys another peek at what we got. So we kind of organized them into um, what we think we have as groupings. So we think these four look alike. And we're not making any claims here besides that we think these are the groupings that are different. Um, this We're kind of putting this out there for you guys to decide because we don't know if that clean gene passed on or not. And so these four look alike and they look different from the last group. And the, what we're noticing in these ones is that there is a lot more of that speckling in the alien heads than this other group. This one has less speckling in there and the alien heads are actually tighter together. And so then that's eight out of the 11 eggs. And then what we've got here, the claim that we are gonna make is that this is the Rudy gene. So this looks a lot like the others that we hatched out of that first stinker clutch. And so um, these two are very clearly a lot more peachy than the others, they have that jet black on the back with the darker pattern. Um, and we can bring one of these in for comparison of the oranges versus not, uh, the darker coloration. So, fairly confident with that Rudy gene. And then this one, I'll leave one of the Rudys in here, looked even different than the rest of them. So if the clean gene did pass on and we did hit a double, this would be the one. It has the reduction of the Rudy gene. It has some of that peachy undertone, but not as bright as the single gene Rudy. It also has the nice deep blacks on the back. So yeah, that was just a bonus look at what we hit. And you guys let us know, are we just seeing things or do you guys see it too? Comment down below and we'll see you guys next time.